<clears throat> so what's up everybody and welcome to your next SML 2.0 tutorial and this tutorial we're going to be learning about uh, entering text now I know a lot of you are going to be saying okay why didn't this guy just do it uh, why didn't this guy just do it when we did the key pressed uh, tutorials we're just wasting a tutorial yeah yeah I get your point but I didn't want to confuse you guys because they're essentially two different things and instead of me trying to explain it to you, let me show it to you. So let me say case SF event text entered. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to say CL event text Unicode. Okay. And instead of me trying to explain that right now, let's see what that actually does. So whenever we enter text, which means like when we press a keyboard or a key on the keyboard or whatever, it will uh, it will tell us what key we press. So now I'm just pressing a bunch of random letters, so on and so forth. And as we see, we see a bunch of numbers. Now before we continue, let's look at this ASCII table right here. Now the ASCII table tells us what character what character it is and what number corresponds with that specific character okay uh, I'm not sure if the Linux I, I think I'm not sure if there's a different table for Linux or something like that I'm not sure but I know uh, it's following the ASCII table in Windows so if I press the L key then it will spit out 108 if I press the dash spit out 45 so on and so forth so that is how uh, it essentially is working. So how do we spit out the actual character instead of the number? Well, all we have to do is put char. And for you C++ junkies out there, or you guys are perfectionists, then you can use the static class. Uh, it is a more type safe, but to be honest, it doesn't really matter which way you want to do it. So you will uh, cast it to a char, and let's see what we get. So once we start typing, we can see what we start typing. And uh, let me just get rid of this. So a lot of people are saying, okay, what's the difference with key pressed? With key pressed, uh, I could, uh, you could probably convert it to, uh, to see what, what key you pressed. But the difference is, by default, there's different key combinations you can do. For example, if I click Control and L, we get the gender uh, symbol. I don't know if that, I think that, is that for female? I think so. And if I hold control K, we get a different gender symbol. If I hold the control, we can do different control sequences and so on and so forth, right? So we can do that. And we can still, uh, oh, sorry, it's not in focus, but we can still do our, our typing and, and everything else. So this uh, handles whatever typing we need to do. And uh, this is useful because say you want the user to enter their name or their saved data or something in the program, it's useful when you have this, right? But as I stated, there are special characters. Say you don't want them to um, input special characters. Well, if we look at the ASCII table at, our, at right here, we can see that regular characters range from 33 to 126. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go to our program and we're going to say that what we're going to say is we're going to say if events.type oh sorry event.text.unicode is greater than or equal to 33 and event.text.unicode is less than or equal to 126 then we actually display it so when we run this And we type uh, we can't type any special characters so let me try to type a special character or sequence it doesn't work until I put I do something within those few values now whenever if we try to just do this and we try to say backspace or something if we get rid of this and we do backspace nothing happens right uh, but say we actually wanted to, to delete characters or do something uh, with it, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to put that back. But instead of displaying to the screen, what we're going to do is we're just going to say display plus equals this value right here, right? And the, the number for the space key 
is 8. So if it's equal to 8, then we're going to say display is equal to display dot substring from 0 to display dot length minus 1. Okay? And then we're going to display that to the screen. Or actually, we're going to display it. But before we display it, we're going to clear the console window. And remember, if you're on Linux or Mac, put clear. So now we're going to run this. So I'm going to start typing hello. Oh, I made a mistake. Delete. Put it there. So now we can do something with it. Notice if we press the space bar or other keys, uh, it, it doesn't actually work, right? Um, let's see if we get rid of this. Uh, we'll see we'll just add else say if event dot text dot unicode not equals to 8 then we do this and we'll just add an else right here so let's see if we if we press space if it will do anything uh, so so it does handle space by default, but it doesn't handle things like backspace by default. So we have to handle that ourselves. Uh, so, but there's a lot of different things you can do with text, and this is, uh, uh, I guess it's just like scratching the surface. Uh, but yeah, so we can, uh, yeah, so that's basically it for this tutorial. Uh, on handling text and hopefully you'll find good uses for it so uh, I'm done with this tutorial hope you enjoyed it uh, don't feel free to share uh, subscribe comment rate and that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching and bye